We're now joined by Lisa Serafini. She's a Milan-based reporter here for the Post International. Uh, thanks for being with us again. Uh, Lisa, since the last time we spoke about a week ago here, the situation around you has gotten quite a bit more serious now. Uh, you, you were talking about how the public was very calm. Are, are they in somewhat of a panic now? Yes, thank you, David, for, the, for inviting me. Yes, things have changed, and now we have 6,000 people that were tested positive to the virus. So uh, the new government, as we mentioned, established a new red zone area, and we have about 40 million people, and now people are starting to get more nervous. And also because there have been leakages from the national and local governments, so uh, especially last night, many websites, many telegram apps, or WhatsApp groups, they were spreading all around Italy some draft of the decrees and this has made the people going completely nervous and um, this was really dangerous because a lot of people um, have decided to get away from the cities so go to the south or the center of Italy and this is really dangerous because uh, our healthcare system is already collapsing now not only because of the coronavirus um, patients but for the people that had uh, scheduled surgeries that now have been stopped for you know using the intensive care units uh, so uh, now the fear is that the virus could spread uh, especially in the south where hospitals are already struggling with uh, similar situations so uh, can you give us just a glimpse of daily life i mean uh, schools closed what are kids doing are people going to work at all How, are things functioning on any level anymore uh, schools are closed uh, until April 3rd and most of the schools have established uh, remote work uh, technologies so um, people are you know trying to help the kids parents they're trying to help the kids to learn from uh, uh, remote work studies um, the problem is that uh, not all the schools are, are well organized so uh, some of the teachers just send uh, you know things to do you have to study this subject you have to study this subject but without making videos or you know conferences other schools are you know maybe better organized it really depends on uh, maybe also the age of the teachers and the organizations uh, so the daily life is really hard especially for parents because some people can work from home but for instance shop assistant they cannot work from home people that work in restaurant they cannot work from home and they they're now uh, paying a lot of babysitters and you know who uh, somebody can ask their parents to you know co-parenting their, their children uh, but this is really hard and i think that from now on uh, things are going are really going to change in italy until yesterday people were they everybody was relaxed people were going to ski and you know didn't really think about the, the, pos the possible collapse of the healthcare system. Now I think things will change. Uh, you know, many health officials or some health officials in Israel have cited the situation in Italy as an example to, to justify the strict measures that Israel is putting in place before things get out of control. Is there a lot of criticism right now on the government in Italy and perhaps saying too little, too late on these uh, strict measures? Yes, I think that um, the Israeli government made, 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 made the right decisions because as we are now facing a huge crisis in the healthcare systems, uh, things need to change for sure. And I think that communication was a, a little issue because the people were thinking, okay, if I get the coronavirus, maybe I'm young, you know, nothing happens to me. But uh, we are bringing the virus to people who are already suffering from other illnesses and also we are... Uh, stopping the planned and scheduled the surgeries. So this is a huge problem and I think the governments are doing the, the right thing and people, you know, they're starting to accept it. But the communication uh, thing, you know, the, the thing that communication was not properly um, executed is something that really bothers the Italian citizens now. Well, Lisa Serafini uh, joining us from Milan. Thank you for the time.